Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with your social network. Before we start today, don't forget, please, we have a new, uh, actually it's not a new channel, but we are going to start. And I decide actually that uh, I will make maybe a video or two more here in this channel. And then we will move to the other channel so we can make it, uh, get more subscription there as a backup. So please, if you don't mind, there's a link in the info of this video where you can go to the other channel and subscribe and don't forget to do that because soon we will put this account into sleep and we will use the other account so just take a note today topic is about Israel <clears throat> there is a very well-known candidate for election his name is Bernie Sander Bernie Sander he said that Israel as a country and as a government is a racist government uh, I'm sure all of you knows that I am me myself I am an Arab and there is no way I'm going to defend Israel I mean it doesn't make sense but today I will this guy Bernie Sander he is just uh, another toy which uh, you know uh, I mean he liked to be a toy you see when you want to be wanted there's one of two ways you know to be wanted either you be what people like you to be so people will want you or you are really a priceless uh, person or priceless uh, something whatever it is so people want you anyway now this guy what why people even will vote for him he want to stop war in drugs he want to make every citizen have the right to smoke marijuana i mean this is your agenda and for sure he have some other stuff but i find him very silly and very stupid additional to that i mean who is going to vote for a person with my respect to all people this person he might even not survive a year or two uh, to live we do not know and the older you get the harder for you to be uh, taking care of a job this person is in the age of retirement so he's silly he's a stupid and not only that in order to earn votes from the radical left he started now a new agenda attacking Israel and for sure that will make him some gain from the Muslim because the Muslim will vote always for anyone who is you know not good really for Israel and not good for America um, this is why Muslims they voted for Obama but Obama is an ex-Muslim how Muslims who they are believe that anyone who leave Islam I mean he is the enemy of Allah and we know the punishment of leaving Islam how they vote for Obama because they knew that he is not leaving Islam he is just still Muslim and he will do harm to Israel and exactly this is what happened Obama in eight years as a president he harmed Israel as much as he can and he gave Iran the number one enemy to Israel unlimited support and money he gave them billions of dollars and he lifted the ban and Iran the regime of Iran the terrorist regime of Iran became a flourished so Obama was the biggest support for Iran and all of us we knew that Obama before he leave the office exactly about three months before the election he signed the biggest assistant from America to Israel because those people they don't care how they can win so now we need Israel to win so Obama who hated Israel for eight years suddenly he signed an agreement with the Israeli state that he will give a big assistant to Israel all of this just to make the Jews support Hillary Clinton and now we have uh, supposedly someone who he himself is a Jew but by the way he is not really a Jew originally he is a Jew but this guy he don't believe in God and he is a radical left he is an atheist so uh, uh, if I am born of a Jewish family that will not make me a Jew just to make it clear now is really Israel a racist state you see uh, once I was with the with an Arab <clears throat> and, and they called them Palestinians 
and um, he said to me I have to go to uh, I have I have to go and pick up my uh, uh, papers and etc and my sister and my mother and we want to go to Israel um, I said huh you call it Israel you don't call it Palestine he said yes actually I'm going there to apply for a passport Israeli passport he said why you want to get Israeli passport isn't it this is the enemy he said no I mean are you kidding me Israeli passport is the best passport you want me I said why why you don't apply for a Jordanian passport because uh, as I know that his father is a Jordanian and his mother she is a Palestinian um, so he can really he can get the, the Jordanian passport but he's trying to get the Israeli passport he said the Israeli passport is the best and actually if I can live in Israel I don't want to live even in USA it's better than living here in USA and I was talking to here to him here in the state so he is an Arab and he is you know he is a person saying the truth that him as an Arab he preferred to live in Israel one million times than living anywhere else even from USA and he don't want the Jordanian passport then we need to ask ourselves why why an Arab person he supposed they should be against Israel he preferred to carry an Israeli passport and today we will explain to you why first of all why Bernie Sander this idiot he is saying Israel is a uh, is a is a racist nation anyone knows why what is behind this Ad additional to uh, the propaganda of election anybody knows why he is saying that Israel is a is a is a is a racist who knows <clears throat> Nobody knows? Okay. Let us share some information with you. Not long time ago, Israel voted that Israel is a Jewish nation. Israel is a state for the Jews. Now, uh, a lot of idiots around the world, they start calling Israel racist. But this is the most stupid thing ever. I mean, the name of the country is Israel, so it is for the Israeli. <laughs> I mean, look, look at this. I am an Arab who live in America. I got a passport. It's called American. So should I force America to change the name to make it Arab America or something like this? I mean, this country, this country, it has a name. Whoever live in this country is an Israeli. Now, who is the Israeli? They are the Israeli. So if you are a person who live in a country, you, you see, you live in uh, the Republic of China, then you don't have the right to say you are Chinese because if you say you are Chinese, you are racist. That's stupid. Isn't it? Isn't it stupid? Now, if we go and look in Israel, we will find all those in the front of us. This is from Wikipedia. Wikipedia. All of those are members of the Knesset and they are Muslims. Imagine. Imagine. This is this is Israel. This is Israel the racist. Those are Arab congressmen in the Israeli parliament. Do you see how racist Israel is? Now, if we go to uh, to Jordan, how many Jew they are in the parliament? If we go to Egypt, how many Jew they are in the parliament? I mean, if they're still alive, if they did not kill them all, how many Jew we have in? Uh, uh, I mean, like, what, what those people are talking about? This is the racist country have, and giving the right to the Arab who consider them their enemies to be a congressman, and not only that even to be in the supreme court you believe it you are an arab and you are a member in the supreme court not only that you are a muslim and you are a candidate for the supreme court 
Supreme Court, this is not a joke. Do you see how racist those people are? So, yes, it's, an, it's a Jewish state, and this is true, and they deserve it, but they are not racist. Same time, if we call Israel a Jewish state that will make Israel racist, why Bernie Sanders don't say, okay, uh, 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 what is the name of Egypt? Anyone knows? What is the full name of Egypt? Who knows? The Arab Republic of Egypt. So why Egypt is calling themselves Arab Republic? But Bernie Sanders don't say you are racist. Egypt is Africa, and the Arab there is not even two percent. How and how and why they became Arab? Just because of Muslims occupy it and they force the Arabic language on people. How many countries in the world they call themselves Islamic State? Afghanistan. The Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Islamic Republic of Mauritania, etc. What is the name of Iraq? The, the Arab Republic of Iraq. What is the name of Syria? The Arab Republic of Syria. What is the name of Jordan? Al Mamlak al Hashimi al Urduniya, the kingdom of the Hashimi. Imagine the family owned the country. The whole, the whole country is in the name of the family. What is the name of Saudi Arabia? Oh, and why it's called Arabia? So why they can't call themselves Islamic? Why they can't call themselves Arab? Why they can't call themselves all those names? But if the Jews they say this is a Jewish state, they are racist. Do you understand, guys? Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Why Bernie Sanders don't say that Iran is an Islam is a is a racist state? Why he don't say that uh, 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 Jordan is a racist state, Syria is a racist state? All of them they call themselves Arab. What about the Turkish? They call themselves Turkey. This is not Turkey. There's nothing that's called Turkey. We should call them, you know. They should call them racist because they call themselves Turkey. What racist mean? I want to show you how racist Israel is. This is the Prime Minister of Israel. And by the way, I don't like him, just to let you know. But I'm not taking side of him. I'm showing you what Israel is about. All of us, we knew that the Iranian the regime Day and night, they say death to, death to America, death to Israel. The first thing in the morning, you go to school even if you're a kid. Before you enter the classroom, you say death to America, death to Israel. Listen to this guy. Let us see how racist he is. Today I'm going to make an unprecedented offer to Iran. It relates to water. The Iranian people are victims of a cruel and tyrannical regime that denies them vital water. Israel stands with the people of Iran, and that is why I want to help save countless Iranian lives. Here's how. Iran's meteorological organization says that nearly 96% of Iran suffers from some levels of drought. Issa Kalantari, a former Iranian agriculture minister, said that 50 million Iranians could be forced out of their homes due to environmental damage. 50 million. Millions of Iranian children are suffering due to mismanagement, to incompetence, and the theft of vital resources by the Iranian regime. Now, Israel also has water challenges. We've developed cutting-edge technologies to address them. Israel recycles nearly 90% of its wastewater. That's far more than any other country on Earth. We invented drip irrigation. Our technology targets individual plants with exactly the nutrients they need for each plant. Israel has the know-how to prevent environmental catastrophe in Iran. I want to share this information with the people of Iran. Sadly, Iran bans Israelis from visiting, so we'll have to get creative. We will launch a Farsi website 
with detailed plans on how Iranians can recycle their wastewater. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did this guy just say, we are going to create a website for you because you are dying because you don't have water. And we will share with you the most high-tech knowledge. And all of us, we knew that Israeli, they have a very, very high-tech. Israel, they use airplanes for their agriculture since almost 1950-something. Until now, in the Middle East, we don't have that. Israel, they made the desert of Sinai a heaven. It's not a secret. Israel made the city of Medina in Saudi Arabia, and then Muhammad, he killed them all. At that time, the best city ever. For they are farmers and they are smart. This guy, he is so racist, and he hate them to the point he don't want them to see. He don't want to see their children suffering because they don't have water. I want to see a Muslim king going in TV says I want to help the Jews. I want to see a Muslim king go on TV says, Hey Jews, you are suffering from something. I want to help you. Do you see how they fabricate propaganda? Wouldn't to make a password about the genocide of the Armenian? Yeah, we always talk about it. I mean, we don't forget, and we will never forget. But here, you know, here, I'm just showing you this, how they try always to make somebody look like the devil to serve a certain propaganda, like the same as they did with the Trump. Trump, he won the election. In the beginning, they start saying he is racist. Then they call him that he is a, he is supporting the KKK. And then they could, this is all did not work. Black people voted for him and he did help the black people as no president before. So they come with a new idea. Okay, he is a, he won because of the Russian. After two years, that is not working. So now we have to impeach him because of a different, he, he destruct justice. They cannot take it. Liberals, they are mentally ill. They cannot handle the truth. And now we have this Bernie Sander who is trying to earn his supporter between those radicals who they are extremely crazy. I mean, go there and see who is there. And by the way, the funny you will see that behind Bernie Sander, uh, a woman wearing hijab. I mean, how this guy who says we need to open a sexual life, we need to have marijuana in every school, every student, I mean, and then we find Muslims supporting him. It doesn't make sense. No, it makes sense. Anyone who will destroy this country, he makes sense. This guy, he come with ideas, will destroy America. And now they are trying to make the Jews, you know, and by the way, there's many people in the West, they like the idea to speak against the Jews, right? I mean, you know, let us explain the Jews. This is where, by the way, became a tradition, and we learned it from the Muslims. Muhammad, he said, if you remember, Muhammad, he said, he's the founder of let us blame the Jews. Muhammad, he said, if there's no Jews, no food will be damaged. Right? If there's no Jews, no food will be damaged. If there's no Eve, no woman will betray her husband. So Muhammad, he blamed two kinds of people for all the, the filth in this earth. Females, women, and Jews. Do you see it? Always in all society, when they see somebody, he is from minority and he is successful, 
they have a propaganda of hate against him okay why he is a Jew but he's rich I mean it doesn't make sense we are the majority here why he is a Jew but he's a billionaire why is a Jew but etc and then the propaganda will start the Jews control the world like a MasterCard etc you know the, the 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 richest man in the world is the owner of Amazon he is not a Jew nobody see him but if you are a Jew if you are a Jew and you are you right away I mean he's a Jew we have Arab they are uh, uh, Qatar is buying half of England now nobody says the Jews they are Qatar no because Qatar is okay Muslim buying uh, uh, football teams etc it's okay but a Jew is he cannot no you can you're a Jew so there is a culture which is a culture of let us blame the Jews and this is a culture inherited from the founder of hate against the Jews and against the Christian but he hated the Jews more because the Jews oppose him very much and they exposed him so we have to be careful and not to be driven into this culture and this guy Bernie Sander he is just trying to answer the call of the radical left who don't like the Jews specifically Israel after he made his statement this guy he noticed that he made a big mistake by saying that in public additional sign that he is a stupid so then he said no no I am a brew Israel like I support really Israel but the fact he is not if he take the office for sure he will sponsor Hamas and he will go against Israel the same as Obama he did for eight years always always uh, try to find out the the, the logic You know, for me, I am not talking. I'm not talking good about Israel. I'm not. I'm talking the truth. I'm not saying any good thing about Israel. I'm just saying what it is. I'm not making Israel look good. I actually, I spoke in many videos against Netanyahu. I think many of you remember me, right? I said this man is corrupt. I believe he will end in jail. And because Israel is a good country, a corrupt man will end in jail. You know what I mean? Everybody knows I, I speak and I, I mean if I am a person who took I take no side. I don't care who you are You are a Christian minister you say something wrong against you. You are a Jew I am against you. It doesn't matter who you are. You say something wrong. I am against you uh, Netanyahu, I don't like him. I believe he's a corrupt man and I believe he's a stupid in the same time And I explained the previous videos why he is a stupid, you know, he made a, a big mistakes toward Israel as an example Iran you know, Iran uh, was, it was an opportunity for Israel to destroy all the nuclear facilities in Iran for more than 15 years. And Netanyahu is a prime minister for long. Before Obama, he signed the agreement with Iran, Israel still can hit and nobody even would complain. So why he waited? This is a huge bad mistake. After signing the contract between the American and or the agreement between the American and between the Iranian, it's not the same as before. Now you cannot hit because there's an agreement. But they are lucky. They got Donald Trump. The first thing he did, he ripped off that contract and he said, this is garbage. And look, in less than two years, the regime of Iran and Hezbollah and the Islamic Guard are struggling to survive Trump he did a very great job protecting Israel in the same time protecting America because at the end of the day Iran is a country as a government I'm not talking about the people they consider themselves an enemy and their target is to destroy the interest or the power of USA or Israel and they are involved in every problem in the world drugs weapon smuggling militant 
uh, suicide bombing they support even Hamas they support the Muslim Brotherhood actually the first center of the Muslim Brotherhood in the world was purchased by Iranian the first big center in Egypt was not paid by Muslim from Egypt was paid by the mullahs of Iran so here we have to be careful if somebody says to us why the Israeli if they are not racist they say that Israel is a Jewish state because it's a Jewish state why the why the Egyptian next door they can call themselves the Arabian Republic of Egypt okay what Arabian there's a lot there is no Arabian in, 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 in Egypt who is the Arabian in Egypt this, this is Africa <laughs> what is the Arab so they force the name they, they force the name of Arabian just because of Islam why why Pakistan they have the right to call themselves the Islamic Republic of Pakistan Islamic Republic of Afghanistan and nobody said to them oh this is racist huh Islamic Republic so they can say Islamic Republic only the Jews they can say Jewish Republic do you see the hypocrisy guys everybody in the world he can have a name he he wished for and nobody opened his mouth why everybody in Pakistan is a Muslim no everybody in Iran is a Muslim no everybody in Egypt is a Muslim is, is an Arab no what is the name of Saudi Arabia the kingdom the, Ar the Arabian kingdom of Saudi Arabia okay how what make it okay that's it Arabian that's it and it's not racist So I wanted to make this video to share with you because hypocrisy and stupidity is a is a is a sign of intelligence these days. These days, if you are a stupid and you say stupid things, you are cool. They call you cool. You know, you are cool. I find you cool. You are really cool. You know, you are stupid. Even the Quran, the book of the Abdul, in chapter five, verse twenty-one, says that this is the land assigned to Israel. Do you know? And by the way, one of the funny things uh, uh, about about those who call themselves cool, when they say that he is or she is open-minded, I mean, this is the most stupid statement ever to hear. I am open-minded. What does that mean? Are you a garbage? Anybody can throw something in and you accept? Even garbage is recycled. Like there's a place for plastic. There's a place for the... What do you mean open-minded so if the guy he want to sleep with your wife you are open-minded what if somebody want to take your bank account are you open-minded what if somebody want to rape you be open-minded what if somebody like to beat you be open-minded i mean open what does that mean this culture of open-minded and stupidity and anyone we don't like what he say without thinking we call him racist this is what the people of open-minded they are about they are silly they are shallow they are shallow but there's no water so we have to be careful and not to copy what those people say why Israel is a racist what make it racist go and see Arab Muslims, Arab Christian, they live in Israel and nobody, nobody do anything. They have equal salary. A teacher who is an Arab in Israel, he have the same exact salary as a Jewish guy who live and he is an Israeli. The exact same salary, same retirement, everything, same health, same, everything the same. Why they are racist? And what make them racist? Arab can be a congressman as you see those are congressmen who they are serving in the Israeli Congress and they are even Muslims why they are racist 
judges in the Supreme Court of Israel, they are Arab. So they lie to you and they make you believe. And you know, if you repeat a lie many, many times, you believe it. Those liberals, they keep attacking Israel. Israel is a bad country. Israel is not being just to the Palestinian, etc. First of all, there's nothing it's called Palestinian. There's no Palestinian. This is a lie. Those who live in Gaza, they are from Egypt. They speak Egyptian. None of them is Palestinian. None of them is Palestinian. Not a single person. You know, even... Uh, <laughs> let me show you something. All right. <clears throat> uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my other channel because soon we will stop. We will put this account to sleep and we will do broadcasts in the other channel. So please, the, there is a link underneath in the info of the video. Just click there and subscribe so you can follow us with us. Here, chapter 5, verse number 21. This chapter says that this is the land is of Israel. You see here, it's, they say the word Palestine. This is not exist in the Quran. This is between two brackets. Allah said to Moses, tell your people, oh my people. Allah spoke to who? To Moses. To who? To Moses. Is a Moses is a Palestinian? No, he's not. Palestine is not a name of an ethnic group. Palestine is a territory, it's a land. It's not a there's nothing, is you know, the 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 people who used to be there, and I will show you here. I'm just coming in the topic. Don't 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 rush. So Allah told Moses, this is the land which I assigned into you. Assigned to you? Who? Moses and your people. Tell your people, I assigned this land for you. The Quran confirmed that this is the land of the Jews. Allah must be a racist. Because Allah in the Quran said, I assign this land to you. Who? Jews. Do you see it? Then, look what they said. In this, in this land, the people they said to Moses, in this land there is a there is a great people with great strength. Many people do not know this is a stupid translation. A Jabarin, it's about a giant people. Those, those supposedly are the Palestinian, Palestinian giant. Anyone saw Yasser Arafat? Yeah, once once Yasser Arafat, he looked at my door. I opened the door, I saw nobody, I closed the door again because he was very down. Yasser Arafat is not even four foot tall, even if he wear high heels. How he is, the, he is from the giant. The Quran says that those are giant people. The Palestinian, they are giant. Where is the giant? What happened to them? They shrunk. So even the Quran confirmed that those who they live there, those are not Palestinian. They have nothing to do with the Palestinian. There is an Arab who came with Umar al-Khattab as occupation, and there is people who live there and they are Aramaic Christians, not Palestinians. There's no Palestinians. Now they call them Palestinian, but the fact they are Aramaic Christians. Anyone remember when Jesus spoke to the Aramaic women? Do you remember? The Aramaic. So uh, they speak with ignorance and stupidity, and stupidity these days is uh, very popular. The more stupid you are, the more nice. The more you are, you know. Let us say, if you are a conservative, they call you a hater. What conservative mean? Conservative is somebody he take a stand of what he believe. As simple as that. The fact 
those liberals they are extremely extremely conservative but in the opposite direction which mean look at them you know when when Trump he won the election what they did anyone remember they start burning stores burning cars uh, beating people in the street uh, I mean uh, madness for they are radical violent they speak about not to be a racist but the second you are not one of them they will burn your car hypocrisy and double standard they say that they believe in democracy but the second you win the election they want to take you down So we have to be careful and we have to, you know, always to think about what we hear and not to let someone like this idiot Bernie Sander to tell us who is Israel. Don't let anyone, including me, to tell you who is Israel. You think, you have a brain. Until now, in Saudi Arabia, there is a signs for, there is roads for Muslims and non-Muslims. Why Bernie Sanders says well, Saudi Arabia is a racist country? He will never say that. He will never dare to say that. Let us show you. Do we have a sign like this in Israel? Muslims only? If we do, or sorry, Jewish only in the highway, if they do, it means really they are racist. And then I have to withdraw whatever I say. They don't. Nobody complain about having a highway for Muslims and highway for non-Muslims. Why? Because the Quran says that non-Muslims are dirty. Have you ever heard of any Western, especially from the Democrat, ever spoke negative about those who pay them money? What about Qatar? Qatar is the most government who support terrorism in the world. Muslims only. Buildings for Muslims only. Highway for Muslims only. Streets for Muslims only. Why? Because they believe that as a Muslim they are a race. And that will make it racist. To have roads for Muslims only. And you will see that Muslim only, the sign is a green. And those who they are not Muslims, the sign for them is red. Did you notice that? Because you will go to hell. You are not Muslim. Did you notice? The Muslim sign is a green. Non-Muslim, their, their sign is red. If you go and live in Saudi Arabia, they give you what is called residency. If you are a Muslim, your residency is white. If you are not, your residency is brown. Why? Because supposedly you are dirty. Just I wanted to share with this with you and as you know, I am an Arab and I am not defending Israel I am saying the truth nothing more than the saying the truth you see once I was in the in the in the classroom in the Middle East For sure the teacher is a Muslim everybody is a Muslim 
uh, the teacher was explaining to us that the Jews, the Israeli, they occupy Palestine. They took us Jerusalem from us, and we have to take it back. So I put my hand up. You know, you 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 have to you have to to get them busted in a smart way. So I said, sir, uh, can I ask you a question? He said, sure. I said, who is the one who built? Uh, uh, Jerusalem he said Jerusalem is built in the time of David and Solomon and I said that they are a Jew they are Jews right he said yes <laughs> a second ago he says Jew Israel Jerusalem <laughs> I mean look at those donkeys a second ago he was teaching us that Jerusalem is an Arab city and we should take it back a minute after I asked him, who is the one who built the city? He said to me, two Jews. How this city is an Arab city, but the one who built the city, the Jews. Somebody saying to me that David took Jerusalem from etc. No, I don't believe that this is true. This is not accurate. For sure, there is many civilization live before, but he did not take a city as a city. That's not true. Same time, this is what the Muslims believe that the one who built it is David and Solomon. So to make it short, Middle East, if we bring Bernie Sanders to be a president of USA, he will burn the Middle East by his stupidity. What will happen if you are not a Muslim and you drive in a Muslim only? You, 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 you might lose your head especially if you enter to Mecca because Mecca is forbidden city for non-Muslims or Medina so if you are not a Muslim and they capture you inside the territory where it's forbidden for you you most likely you will be killed if you are lucky you know if you are lucky um, they will arrest you and send you out like if you can prove that you made a mistake or you know but they will, you will get killed So anyway, I just wanted to share with you my opinion. And I believe that whoever says such a statement about Israel is a liar, is not being fair. Everybody in the Middle East is racist compared to Israel, if Israel it will ever be racist. I remember, I remember in the, uh, when George Bush was, uh, President, anyone remember what was the the foreign minister of George Bush? Anyone remember the name and what she was? She was a black lady, right? She was an African American. Do you know that in Islamic TVs, including the 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 the, the Gulf TVs, the Friends of USA, they were saying that she haven't used the same as her face. And nobody complain I mean racism is in their blood I mean how you say that in public in a TV owned by the government unless everybody accept it imagine they are saying such a statement in a public TV government TV and nobody complained because you know they don't like black people this is the truth for 1400 years no imam for the kaaba is a black after obama was elected 
the king of Saudi Arabia at that time he put for the first time because now okay we get exposed here we go the the the, the American eh? they got a black president so the king of Saudi Arabia as a propaganda they appointed for the first time in the history a black person to lead the prayer in Mecca he did not even last for two weeks and they took him off They are racist and nobody complain about their racism So we have always you know we have a double standard and we have a stupidity right now Libya is the biggest country What about Mauritania? You know, do you know do you know what Mauritania Mauritania is a country of a slavery? Go right now and search Mauritania is not only a country of slavery it is a country which slavery is still legalized and more than 80% of the population are slaves and nobody talk about it nobody even care until now in Saudi Arabia in Emirat not long time ago in Emirat they used to buy children from Thailand and from poor countries from Nepal. Anyone remember for what? Who remember? Just a few years ago. Anyone remember what for for what reason? They bring those children, the human trafficking, little children. No, for camel race, for camel. Because if you have a you have a like a light weight on the camel, it, it, uh, most likely you can win better from having a, an adult. So they put a, a kid; he is six or seven years old in the top of the camel, and they teach him how to ride it. But he is not their son; he is just a poor kid. They bring him from Nepal. If you fail down in this race and you are a kid, not only you will fail down the camel behind you because it's a race; they will step on you; they will kill you. A camel he can destroy a car if he step on it. So they bring little children from poor countries in Asia and they made them work as race. And now they replace them because a lot of criticism against them. They replace them. Anyone who know with what? They replace them with, with the with the robot machine. You know, the Japanese they come with a better idea. So now they don't use the kids no more. They have a machine in the top of the camel and they control it the same as a game, you know. What they get paid? They are bored. They are slaves. This is just like the kids. There's girls, there's women, there's those 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 sheikhs, they they live they live a life you cannot imagine. Anyone remember the the movie? I forgot the name. I forgot the name. Uh, the actor is, is a famous American actor who his uh, his daughter she went to Europe and they kidnapped her. Those stories are not fabricated; they are real. And the sheikh he buy the girl in auction. Do you remember? No, I think yeah, it's called taken, taken, not without my daughter. That is, I think, in in Iran. <clears throat> it's called taken. The sheikh, the rich sheikh, you know, he buy her. Yeah, they have an auction, and you buy. And the whole mafia there is an Albanian uh, mafia in the movie. According to the movie, they are from Albania, if you remember. And the buyers, the the, the customers are uh, Arab, right? anyway uh, so I just wanted to share my opinion about what this uh, stupid Bernie Sanders he said and 
uh, my video will not stay there for long so please take it maybe for an hour or two download it if you like to share it with people but don't forget please to subscribe to the new channel which you will find in the info because we will start soon in that channel only for some time all right so please subscribe only few of you is subscribing the link is there you will see it in the info of the video and the admin is posting the link for it too uh, so I want to say thank you for being here and I hope the information we share with you is useful and never go by by people saying to you things about somebody or someone or even a country study search and came with a conclusion don't make stupid TV stations and stupid uh, uh, people of politics you know people who work in politics other than they are doing business and they speak politics and politics is all as about lying everything in politics is about lying even the one who claimed to be like you know like you know the one you might think he is a good guy even the one you think is a good guy he's a liar all of them they have to lie it's a politics they say things for a purpose of winning election not for the purpose of the truth and there's a huge difference right so when they say things to you about Israel here we go I am an Arab and I am saying to you everything they said about Israel is a lie actually me myself I wish I can go to Israel but because I'm an Arab I might most likely even though I have an American passport they might kick me out I don't blame them <laughs> I don't <laughs> you know what I mean I mean I uh, like uh, do I like to go to Israel I wish honestly but if you go in the airport and they will find that you are an Arab and they will find that easy I mean why they will let me uh, actually I think it's going to be stupid of them if they let me get in <clears throat> yeah so politics is a dirty game honesty is the last thing to worry about and those who want to win election they say anything anything the crowd like to hear you know Anything, just say whatever. Who is who is your who is the voters of uh, of Bernie Sanders? They are liberals, and liberals they don't like Israel. All of us we knew that. So this guy he is just you know he's doing marketing. What do you like to hear? I will say. For me, I don't say things because people like to hear it. Actually, I say things make everybody upset. That's the truth. I, I say things make everybody upset. But the best way to live as a human is not to take a side except what you believe is the right and the truth. If you take always that side, maybe in the beginning people will not like what you are saying, but then they will find out that this person is being truthful. As simple as that. It's better than being a liar who changed his mind and his attitude based in his benefit. And there's many people, they are like this. Everything is for sale. Right? Now, I pray before we finish that one day I will be able to go to Israel and the Israeli they will not let me uh, kick me out of the borders uh, I really love to go and I love I love and I wish the, the people of Israel the best you know to come even though they might think I am an enemy because I'm an Arab but for sure I am not I believe this is their land and nobody have the right to take it from them and uh, they deserve to have peace and live the same as everybody and there's too much hate against the Jews uh, and by the way, like just to, rem I mean, uh, imagine like once I remember said to me, why you keep always uh, a Muslim said to me, why always call, always defend uh, Israel? I said, I'm not defending Israel. He said to me, aren't they the one who killed your God, Jesus? I said, ah, now they killed my God. I thought your Quran saying they never killed Jesus. But now because you want me to hate Israel, you want to convince me, ah, they killed Jesus. <laughs> do, do you see the propaganda? <laughs> 
from the president of Indonesia. Okay, thank you, Indu. <laughs> I got a donation from the president of Indonesia. That's a good one. <laughs> so you see, guys, because they want you to hate the Jews, suddenly they want to remind me, isn't it the Jews who killed Jesus? I said, I thought they did not. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I said to him, "Isn't it Jesus said, forgive them, Father?" <laughs> he said, "He said that." I said, "Yeah." <laughs> so he forgave them. What's your problem? <laughs> and you see here, I see that what what the Messiah he said in the cross is very important. He knew that somebody will try to make you hate the Jews because of what they did to Jesus, supposedly. But by saying, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. Now, nobody can make that uh, they a reason for us to hate the Jews. Otherwise, many people, they will be play evil. The same as this guy was saying to me, aren't they the one who killed your God? So when the Messiah said, forgive them, Father, you, me, no one have the right to blame the Jews. The Messiah, not only he himself will forgive them, he said, Father, forgive them. This is why we should be always smarter than the foolish ones who try to make us hate the Jews. So with my love to Israel, me as an Arab, and maybe this is very strange, I want to say thank you for being here. Don't forget, please, to subscribe to the channel, which you find in the info down. And soon we will start doing broadcast there, just to let you know, so you will be notified if you subscribe. Thank you very much, and may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And feel free to get my books to learn more. Thank you.